Now is a time for great strength and faith. Not only in your church, but in me as your new leader. We have come so far in such a short time. But now we have to move on. We have to fulfill our destiny. Yes! Yes! yes. You have put your faith in democracy. You have put your faith in government. Now I ask you to put your faith in me. What has the government given you? Higher taxes? Medical bills? I say we are slaves to continue to live this way. It is time for us to break these chains of capitalism and start a new world for ourselves. Yes, I. We must have the courage to abandon this life and fulfill our destiny. I say it is better to die a free man in paradise than to live as a slave here in this world. Will you join me? Yes! Congratulations, that was a fantastic speech. Let me get that for you. The people believe in my vision. We all believe in you. They all see the good in you. They see whatever they want to see in me. If they want to see me as their friend, I'll be their friend. If they want to see me as their father, I'll be their father. If they want to see me as their God, then I'll be their God. I give them that hope, that salvation. Good news. The land is almost ready. We can start moving people there. This is now our destiny. Whatever happens now, it is because God decided it that way. from my people, let them hear what you Warren, have Warren, I would prefer if we could speak in private. I am your wife. I should be at least granted some privacy. Leave us. We'll continue the prayer later. What is happening to you, Warren? I'm your wife. Yet I feel like the loneliest person here. We have everything you could possibly want here. What are you talking about? You are neglecting me and spending all of your time with the others. This thing is bigger than the two of us. Why can't you see that? It's bigger than any man's love for a woman. It's bigger than any marriage. This does not sound like the man that I married. You married Warren James. I still have that name. But I have grown just as our temple has grown. We have come so far from our humble beginnings, our little congregation. And look at us now. Look how we have grown with more following our path by the day. We cannot let jealousy get in the way of the bigger picture. the financial accounts you requested all temple members have signed over their deeds documents estates and bank accounts they signed it all in the name of the temple just as it was our destiny we have 3.2 million dollars we will use this money to care for our people to feed and clothe them and if necessary when the time comes we will use this money to defend our people I have also ordered the supplies you requested father I want you and Simon to be in charge of these special supplies. Did you get everything on my list? Yes, Father. Our new world is full of light and love. We have to harness this energy. 
We can never, ever let them take this away from us. You understand, Thomas? Yes, Father. I understand. Whatever is needed of me, I will offer to the temple. will question the paradise that we have built here, but never Father. listen to them. Father, the press are coming to visit us. They want to see how we live and report back to the outside world. It was only a matter of time, Simon. Those people are not content with the misery of their own lives. They require the validation of others. But they have no right. We can stop them. No. We will allow them to come here. We will allow them to see how happy we are in paradise. But remember, I will never let them take this away from us. Yes, Father. I will never let them take it from us. girls. Don't you take me for a fool, Warren Jane. Why are you so jealous? Because you're supposed to be my husband, Warren, and you're not acting like I did it. nothing wrong, Veronica. You are still married to your old society's ways. There is nothing wrong with a man and woman showing love to one another. It is the old world that brings shame unto that. Like Adam and Eve feeling ashamed to be naked in the Garden of Eden. What we are doing here is righteous. It is our destiny. You go with your destiny again. You spout this to anyone that ever has the audacity to doubt you. When are you going to realize that we have far more now than we ever could in our old lives? When are you going to realize this is all just make-believe? There is no destiny for these poor people other than the one you are creating for them. This is not God's will. It's the will of Warren James, a salesman from Ohio. Always a salesman. Selling people dreams now instead of insurance policies. You are selling them down the river, Warren. I have only opened a door unto a new world for these people. I did not force anyone to come here. Yeah, just as you never forced them to hand over their bank accounts and homes to your temple. What you're doing is wrong, Warren. And you should be ashamed. You watch your mouth! Do you forget who you're talking to? I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. I still have my vows, Warren. I never let them go from the day we said our vows. That you have. The Holy One. The Chosen One. This is not about some divine destiny. This is one huge ego trip for you. Selling people a new life. A new world. The opportunities are boundless for you in this place. You are blinkered to the truth. Look around you. Open your eyes, woman. Look at all the people who have come here. Every race, every creed, every religion. They saw that this new world represented a new destiny, a new fate. Oh, fate? Yes, fate! Oh. What is before us is meant for us. Nothing is set in stone. We can walk away from this whenever we want. Walk away? Where are we going to go? 
Return to our old street? Our house? Our neighborhood? Veronica, do you honestly think they will ever let us do that? We've done... They will never let us rest! We've done nothing wrong! We have shown them that everything their country is built upon is corrupted and polluted! We had a good life. But look at what we have now! This is more than buying some slice of the American dream! What we have created is a utopia. By opting out of their system, we have created the ideal world. This place is perfect. This place is perfect for only one thing, and that's for Warren James. The only person who will benefit from being here is you. I would rather die here by choice than return to living under that regime. Pastor James. We've heard reports of people being used for labor in your fields. Is this a work camp? Work camp? Look around you, my friend. This is not like your world. What we do here is all for the common good. Just because we don't receive wages or pay taxes, it does not detract from what we are doing. We do this for love, not profit. If you're not interested in profit, why have all your members signed over I have confirmation here from the IRS. All property and financial holdings to the Paradise Temple. We do not want people from your world to steal from our members. It would be so easy for the government to hack accounts and take their property using some brainwashing CIA tactic about homeland security. Their homeland is here. Now, safe from your corruption. Corruption? Yes. Corruption of big business, financial institutions, government. Law enforcement. Your world is corrupted by people who profit from misery. These are bold claims, Pastor James. One would think you're inviting trouble upon yourself by making enemies of such people and institutions. We no longer have any need for them. Our home is here now. We have everything we need. Look around you. We have no desire to leave. Nor should we. Our destiny and our fate are in our hands. Fate? Yes, fate. We control our fate now. We will not allow it to be dictated by your world. Thank you, Pastor James. Those are all the questions I have for just now. If it's okay with you, I'd like to stay here for a couple days and speak to the members of the temple and show the world why you decided to drop out. We did not drop out. We simply saw the lies of your world. There are outside forces conspiring against us. The government is wiretapping and infiltrating our world. They are trying to destroy what we have here. The abuse you talk about comes from your world. But they're trying to spin it to make us look bad because we turned our back on their evil ways. That's the story you should print in your paper. Simon. Yes, sir? This guy is going to twist the truth to serve his story and try to sell newspapers. Then why are you letting him stay? Because if I chase him off, people will say that I was trying to hide something. I have nothing to hide here. Yes, Father. It's smarter for us to keep him here. Remember, they have to try to make it look like we're doing something wrong down here. It makes their world and their mundane existence seem more tolerable. He said something about talking to one of our members. Are you allowing interviews? I need you to supervise this. We need to make sure that our people are saying the right thing. It would be so easy for him to manipulate them. I need for you to make sure that that does not happen. I will do whatever is asked of me. The temple is my life, and I want to make sure everyone sees the good in it. They will. Believe me. They will. We've worked very hard for it. And uh, this is one of our congregation members. Her name is Abigail. Hey, Abigail. Um, this gentleman right here would like to ask you a couple of questions. Okay? Okay. So, what kind of crops are you growing here, Abigail? Um, that's cabbage, that's broccoli, and those are strawberries over there. We brought them here as seeds when the temple was being built. What was this place built? 
Well, um, it used to be a farm. The temple bought the land five years ago and started landscaping and preparing it for our arrival. There's a big transformation throughout this place, though. That explains the chemicals in the storage unit. Um, yes, the fertilizer really helped to tame the jungle. You did a good job here, like, you worked a lot in this temple? Uh, it's about this place. Excuse me, really Abigail, don't answer that question. That is not an appropriate question. I'm just trying to give your side of the story here. I'm trying to sh this is your chance to show the world what's really going on. And who are they to judge us? I'm only trying to report what life is like. We do it because we're asked. Because we love the temple and we love our father. And by doing this, we will follow our destiny. Yes, it was my destiny to come here to serve the temple and to serve my father. Well, I think that's enough questions for today. Thank you very much, Abigail. And if you'll come with me, we can see some other beautiful things here in paradise. These people are asking questions, Warren. They're asking about the conditions here, about how this place is run. Run? run. This place is a holy temple, not a nickel and dime candy store. They can't fathom that we no longer live under their rules. I know, but what if they find out about the other stuff? I know they will twist stories to make us look bad. I don't want folks back home thinking the wrong thing of me. You've moved on from that world. People will be jealous of everything you have here in paradise. I know I have everything here. I have the temple, and I have you. I've never felt this way before. It's just... It's just sad how... What's there to be sad about? I just never imagined it like this, you know? I always pictured meeting the right man and settling down and making my mom proud. I never imagined I'd no longer be able to see her. She had that opportunity. That door was open to her. I know. I... I just wish I could tell her about us. Now you hear me clear, Abigail. No one is to know about us. Do you hear me? I understand, Father. What we have built here is a world where we are free to love one another without the constraints of the old world. They don't have the capacity to understand that. They don't have the intelligence or the open mind to get it. Not the press, not the politicians, not even your mom back home. I understand. This is the best food I have yet tasted. To think that we produce this at our own temple, we're capable of doing anything we want here. You certainly are. What? I'm sick of the lies, Warren. When did you last make love to me? I'm here, aren't I? Doesn't that show you I love you? No, Warren. That doesn't. That shows me that you're avoiding bringing shame on yourself. What kind of religious man would you be then if your wife left you because you cheated on her? I wouldn't leave you. <sighs> yeah, because you have to save face for the temple. It's always about the temple, never about us anymore. I'm just an afterthought. But I... No amount of producing your own crops or me cooking wholesome food can cover up the fact this place is rotten to the core. We have more here than we ever could have imagined. Like what? What do I have to show for it? An egomaniac husband who sleeps with everyone in paradise while I'm left to question what the hell I'm doing here? I no longer even know what my purpose is in life. It was your destiny to come here. You are my wife. You belong here and you know that. I have given up my life to be here. I've 
given you my heart and my soul, and look how you repay me. I have given you everything I possibly can. You haven't given me everything. What did you say? I said, you haven't given me everything. What is that supposed to mean? It means that because you have been unable to give me what I need, I have had to go seek it out elsewhere. Spit it out, Warren. What have you found? I want a child, and you've been unable to give me that. <gasps> you found someone that can. Who is it? Is it Abigail? <gasps> it is, isn't it? Look at how deluded you are. Making this seem right in your twisted mind. <gasps> This is the last straw for me, Warren. I have had enough of you in your temple, in your whores, mocking me wherever I go. If this is paradise, I would rather be in fucking hell. Último aviso a los señores pasajeros del vuelo 049 con destino Gol. Embarquen urgentemente por la puerta número B43. Último aviso para los pasajeros del vol 2049 con destino Embarquen urgentemente por la puerta número B43. Hello, Craig. I had to leave the temple. I had to get out. I'll tell you everything. I'm gonna get on the, the first bus to California. I'm coming straight to your office. People need to know the truth about Utopia. is what I predicted. I told you they would come here and try to destroy us. I knew they would not be content to let us live in peace. Mother, I did not show them any of the things they claimed to have seen. No one is blaming you, Simon. No, this treachery comes from much closer to home. My own wife has betrayed me. But more importantly, she has betrayed the temple. No one can do that. No one can turn their back on what we have built here. This will not stop with a newspaper article. 
Next, they will come here and they will destroy our way of life. They will burn our crops, bulldoze our homes, and they will destroy this paradise. No, 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 no. not let them. No. We cannot stop their mighty power from destroying us. But we can choose how we die. I will not die by their sword. I want to choose my own fate, Father. I think we should all choose our own fate. Yes. 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 We must hurry. Soon, we will not have the freedom to choose our fate. Do you want that? No, no. 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 no Father. We have a simple way for all this to end. It will be like going to sleep. We will end it here in paradise, not rotting in some jail cell. Let us end our days in paradise. It is not lost. Let us drink together. And then we shall all sleep here in paradise. Thank you.